Let's get it. Yes, sir. your boy G Rich. I'm back in the kitchen on the Saturday, baby. Yeah, so you already know what Saturday is. It's Seafood Saturday. Yeah, it's going down. But, but today, I'm not frying red snapper. We doing croakers today. Yes, yeah, sir. And I also have some whiting fillets on the side. But right here, as you can see, they're nice, fresh and clean. Done patted them down, dried them off. We're getting ready. Now, what I am going to do today that's a little different, I'm going to create my own seasoning for it my own breading and everything so what i have here i have some lorry seasoning salt i have uh, one full cup of all-purpose flour partially flakes old bay seasoning my good old martha white cornmeal mix yes sir and i got some salt free lemon pepper mrs dash so what i'm going to do i'm going to go hit right here and i'm going to mix it up together that's all i'm going to do I'm going to dip it into the um, batter that I create, and then I'm going to fry it, okay? I'm going to pan fry it, all right? Y'all ready? I'm ready. It's going down this Saturday, so hold on tight. I'll be right back to walk you through it. All right, fam, so here we go. So what we're going to do is I got me a bag right here. I'm going to put one full cup of all-purpose flour in here, all right? One full cup of corn mix, cornmeal mix, all right? I have one fourth of a cup of seasoning salt. Mm hmm. One fourth of a cup of Old Bay seasoning. Yes, sir. I got one fourth of a cup of parsley flakes. Mm hmm. And got a little bit, maybe it's like two tablespoons of the Mrs. Dash lemon pepper flakes. Okay. We're going to pour it in here. Nice and easy. I advise you to try it. Now, what I'm going to do is, we're going to taste it. Mmm, that's good. What I, but it's missing something. It's missing a little bit more Old Bay. Yes, sir. So, we're going in. We're going to try another one-fourth of a cup. I know you're going to like it because it makes a perfect breading for the fish. And that's okay. See, that's why you taste your food. It's okay. Nobody's perfect. One fourth of a cup. Another one. So that's a half a cup of Old Bay so far. All right. We're going to use the other finger for that on the second dipping. No double dipping. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, mama. That mama. There goes that man. Y'all ready? And so the oil is uh, getting warmer, okay? The oil is getting warmer. And by the time it gets hot enough, we gonna get started. Y'all don't see me fry fish before, but it ain't nothing like creating your own batter and your own seasoning. Yes, sir. Let's get started. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. So what I'm doing now, I'm seeing if the oil is hot enough, and it is. All you have to do is drop a couple of grains in there and see if it disintegrates fast gonna go with one piece at a time look at that so the temperature is around 350 degrees it, it takes like each piece of fish it's gonna takes like takes like take it takes like uh, between two and three minutes okay it don't take that long once the grease get hot mm -mm. and then look at it the fish already floating because the grease good and hot but periodically, I'm going to be turning the grease down. You see what I just did? In order to turn the fish over on the other side, instead of using tongs, because if you use tongs to turn the fish over, it'll break the fish in half. So it's best to use a flat, uh, spatula, lean it towards the end of the side, and then flip it over. I don't know why when I look at food, fam, don't you, your mouth just get the water, you ready to eat? That dude is almost cooked, fam. Then it should come out golden brown. You 
saw what ingredients I used. It tastes so good, fam. You're going to love it. You can create your own batter and stuff. Mix it right. And then just taste it. Always taste it. That way you'll know what to add and what, you know, and what not to put next time. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we're going with the second wave. Now we're going to fry up all this fish, okay? And um, then I'm going to head to the white meat. Now, this is the croaker. I'm frying the croaker fish right now. Then I have like three, three or four uh, pieces of white. And I think two of them are big. They're nice and thick. They're like a uh, little, uh, you know, fish steak. But you'll see. Look at that. What a thing of beauty. If your fish don't come out looking like that, fam, uh-uh. You ain't doing it right. Yes, I'm also having some crabs. I say y'all already know. There's four dozen of crabs in there and all the trimmings. You know what I do. You know what I put in there, so. No need to go in through all of that, but I had to go outside and check it. It's Seafood Saturday, fam. Yes, sir. Look at that. Coming along. Probably gonna take uh, Teresa a piece of it to, you know, to show you guys how it tastes. Cause I'm not gonna start eating until I cook up everything and get the crabs inside and everything. I'll probably be the last one to eat. That's all right. All right, we should be going with the the whitings right now. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Yes, sir. Not very much bone in it. Thing, the pieces of bones towards the on the sides of the fish, but the middle of the fish, nothing but meat. That's how you do it when you want to turn your fish over. Bay, I'm finished. Fam, I don't took a piece off of, I'm going to get let Bay try it for y'all. Now that's what the batter I just made. Let's see what she do. That's what she like about it. Yeah. You queried that by yourself? Yeah, you saw me when I mixed it. They saw me when I mixed it. You can make your own to make it taste like whatever you want to, fam. I want you all, want y'all to see. How, that's how this is how it tastes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Look at this. <laughs> it's so good. She getting sloppy, fam. You really, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You see how crunchy it is? Mm. See that you see that's come from the cornmeal, but you want it, but you want the cornmeal to stay on to the fish. That's when you mix it with the flour. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, fam. So here's my finished look. <laughs> and, then look and look, fam. So what I made, and I still have some batter left. So I'm not going to save that because, you know, you have all the, you know, the germs from the, you know, from the raw fish and stuff in there. But it's just that what I made was more than enough for 10 pieces of fish. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. These are the, which one is it? These are the whiting fillets right here, fam. Nice, thick, and juicy. Yeah, sir. Hey, I told you. Hey, it may it may be a little sloppy, but it's effective. Anyway, all the way live from the south. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind.